Uh, this is Pete Sinclair from the Pitch Film Fund. Hi, and I'm Luke. And we are talking in this video all about adaptation. Now, the Pitch Film Fund has a very specific adaptation challenge. You come with a two minute video where you pitch us an idea, which is an adaptation of a Bible story or theme or verse. And um, we get lots of questions every year about, you know, how exactly to approach that challenge. And in this video, hopefully in two minutes, Luke and I, as we talk to each other, are going to give you some parameters just to think about as you approach the challenge that we set. Um, so, Luke, if you start. I will start this and I'm going to start you as I do this with a question, Pete. Uh, what is adaptation? A very good question uh, for this video. What is adaptation? Well, first of all, maybe what adaptation is not. Adaptation is not, I would say, um, creating a carbon copy of what you see on the text. You know, uh, there's the written and there's the visual, and actually they're two different languages. So you have to do a bit of translation from one to the other um, in, in any case. Um, but in our case, um, what we say is, um, you're trying to look for something really specific in the Bible, um, not something that's kind of general that could come from any, something that's specific, whether it's a story or a theme or something um, that connects with something specifically in you. And what you're doing is you're trying to bring those two things together and elevate both. And how wide can you go with that adaptation? That is also a good question. We talk often at the pitch about the emotional core of the thing that you're approaching in the Bible um, as, a, as a good way of um, figuring out where the limits might be about what you're adapting. So for example, um, if you're looking at David and Goliath, um, there, there's a core there of the story. There's the kind of backbone of the story. And so if you're approaching that as an adaptation, you can't suddenly have Goliath kill David. Um, that's just not the story of David and Goliath anymore. It's a little bit more complicated when it comes to a theme, but we're asking you to approach the emotional core of, of what the original writer is trying to communicate and then go and communicate it in your own way. So, for example, is it about forgiveness? Is, is that what is the message of the, the original text? Well, go away and explore forgiveness, but in the same way that that person's doing it. You can't just say that forgiveness is a bunch of rubbish. Um, you'll be hard pressed to find that in the Bible, I, I would have said. This is great. I think we need to do a second one of these because that's two minutes. Bye.